were just here at Marshall Space Flight Center just about 100 days ago doing our last, most recent subscale burst test. That one had a blanking plate integrated into it, and on this one now we have two blanking plates integrated. Our team has moved incredibly quickly to iterate on this design, make improvements, and build a full-scale article. This work is really important because we're changing how we're able to put habitats in space. For example, LIFE will achieve one-third of the volume of the ISS in one launch, where that previously took 10 to 15 launches to achieve that same volume. And we believe that having the ability to build space stations together with our space transportation systems and bring those together into an ecosystem allows us to find things that we can't discover on Earth. We think about creating an end-to-end -end solution that will enable the orbital age. We think about every industrial revolution that's come before us has really positioned us for now, for this new age. Sofkas have a previous track record in low Earth orbit, actually. They had put up a inflatable airlock. Following that, there was two prototype modules uh, called Genesis 1 and Genesis 2. Shortly after that, the Bigelow Expandable Activities module. So we're trying to continue that trend with Sierra Space. The ability for Sierra Space and ILC Dover to place a blanking plate with inside this soft goods shell is the next generation technology. Those blanking plates aren't just for windows. We can place on there antennas, we can put another airlock on there, we can have radiators, solar rays, robotics. We are gonna to demonstrate to the world that Sierra Space is the leader in soft goods habitation. The full scale unit behind me here is really comprised of two main components. We have our metallic ground support equipment and then the soft goods. The core is 18 foot tall and the diameter is 27 feet. And we do what we refer to as sleeving and that sleeving is where you basically drop the, the soft goods over the top of the core. Today feels a lot like the culmination of all the subscale tests that we've done really leading to this full scale test. So our ultimate burst pressure test today is really about two things. One, it's about verifying the success that we had on our subscale test efforts. So we far exceeded the NASA safety and certification requirements with those subscale tests. And so now it's really about extrapolating those to this full-scale test and verifying that those results are repeatable. Uh, we have learned a lot in terms of how to architect the material, how to weave the material, how to build the material, at the different layers of the material, how to think about all of that so that when we actually get it in space, it's harder than steel, has much more in terms of durability, and the greatest invention is windows in soft goods structures. The teams have worked extremely closely, not just to engineer, something as unique as what you see behind us, but we continually learn how to mass produce so that as this becomes more and more of a viable technology, we can be first to market and make sure that we can deploy this type of technology across multiple applications. It's the technology that's represented behind us that's gonna allow us for the first time not just to think about what to put in space, we can now think about what we're gonna produce in space to benefit life on Earth. Between Blue Origin, and Sierra Space, we have got some of the best people in the industry, so I'm excited to see the life habitat make it to space, make it to orbital reef, and uh, just the capability of having such a large habitat in space enables living in space in a way that we've never been able to before. The whole idea is that we're gonna grab our inflatable life and just take it to the max, see what kind of PSI we're going to get to. We're hoping that it is somewhere in the 60 PSI. Bursting is so important because the data we achieve from this burst test and subsequent burst tests will allow us to refine our design for life 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 and beyond. Ben, you guys clear? All right. 45 PSI. 50 PSI, 50 PSI, 55 PSI, 55 PSI, 55 PSI. 55 PSI. 55 PSI. 55 PSI. 55 PSI. 6 long left PSI. All on the way to burst, go see our space, go NASA. It's hard to go down pressure. So maybe it's a leap of test our volume. It's trying to overcome it. We're dropping just as fast as we were filling it. We didn't burst. There was a little bit of an issue that we're taking a look at. There's some type of leak rate or leak that's happening in the article. We're gonna go out there and do a post-mortem review. It looks like there was a valve failure on our six-inch vent valve. So good news, 
the article could still be tested. Yeah. And we're gonna go down and close those valves, fix it, Beth and the team along with NASA will come up with a mitigation process yep. and we'll move forward. We had a really successful test. Although we did not burst our article, we did surpass the factor of safety threshold recommended by NASA. Today we're gonna to be back in the control room for part two of the test. While we did surpass our threshold yesterday, we still want to burst our test article to really see how much margin we have. It's the worst. Go see our space, go out, see go NASA. 55 PSI, 55 PSI. 63 PSI, 63 PSI. We're not a company that's trying to escape Earth. We're not a company that thinks that we ought to leave the planet. We're a company that's committed to this home and making it better. Ultimately, uh, our focus is to benefit 8 billion people. We believe we will help find cures to the world's hardest problem, find cures to leukemia and other kinds of cancers. Think about longevity in ways we can never have thought about. Next generation of energy, next generation of computing power. It will change everything.